my goal was to be a state champion, and it didn't, you know, on the, on the just logically, it didn't really make sense. I was 11 wins, eight losses, and three ties as a 10th grader. So the next year, I want to be an undefeated state champion. And as the season went on, I realized that every day I just had to get a little better. And I felt like I was getting a little better every day. And as, as the matches rolled on, and as we were getting closer to the state tournament, I realized that I just wasn't ready. It just didn't seem like I was ready. So my coach, which was, you know, smart guy, he realized that, that he needed to put me in the environment of other wrestlers. We went to a neighboring uh, high school uh, in Cleveland that was a larger school, and we were in the smaller school. So I started training with the, the guys going to state who were from the large schools. I was from the smaller schools. So that practice immediately put me around much better wrestlers. And I had to get better immediately just to compete in that room. And so how it all rolled out is we had a sectional tournament, a district tournament, and a state tournament. The sectional tournament in the finals, I beat uh, one of my rivals from a neighboring, uh, from our conference, from Kinston, 1-0 in overtime. Very close match, could have gone either way. The next week, I beat that same wrestler in the finals, 9-2. I was improving every day, so I had a week of improvement to where I, I dominated this guy. And that gave me the confidence to believe that I could be a state champion. So if the state tournament would have been one week earlier, I don't think I would have won it because the week between the district tournament and the state tournament, the same thing occurred. Train with those uh, bigger schools, uh, athletes who were going to the state tournament too. I wrestled with guys in the bigger weight classes and I just got, bi I just got better every single day. And every day I, I, I didn't even want to leave practice. My coach would say, Lee, you, we've got to go home. Save it for tomorrow, there's time tomorrow. I just didn't feel like there was any time. If you ever talk to anyone who was ever trying to achieve a big goal, they just don't even sleep, you know? They just, cause sleep takes time away from them getting better. And the coach had to literally force me to leave the room. <laughs> there was, once there was no one else left to work out with, I worked out with him. I did that every day leading up to going to the state tournament. Got to the state tournament and my second match, I had to wrestle a guy who was a defending runner-up. I won four to one, kind of a close match. I felt like that match gave me the confidence to beat the defending state champion next round. And I beat him four to three. It was as close as any match could be. And I'm convinced, I'm positive that if that tournament would have been a week earlier, I wouldn't have beat this guy. This guy was actually better than me. But I improved just enough that I I just, I just sneak by him in that, in, that, in that semifinal match. It allowed me to become a state champion, and that never would have occurred without that mentality of believing that you can get better every single day.